Hi, do you hope you're one? My name's Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to The Last Spell. Now, I say welcome back because we played this many moons ago. In fact, a couple years. It's been a while, is, is the point I'm trying to get at here. But it's a throwback. Some people, I saw a Reddit post, like, hey, Last Spell came out. Hey, you can do that. Hey, have you heard about... Pfft, have I heard? Bruh, I've been keeping tabs on this game since I did that little Let's Play. When it was, like, first early access. But now... It's 1.0, the full release. I already did one run, um, just to check out everything, play some, get a little progression. Ended up beating the first map, which is obviously the easiest. So, we'll uh, see if I can keep that up, because we're on to the new map, Lakeberg. Because Gildenberg is... Oh, what the fuck is that? I'm pretty sure it is the map... More or less that I played before. Lake Berg, completely new. I unlocked Apocalypse Mode, which is a way to make it more difficult. Um, if I do, I get some extra Tainted Essence, because this is a roguelike. If you didn't watch the last series, I'll explain what it is. But Tainted Essence is how you get some meta progression unlocks and whatnot. So it would, it would be more of a challenge. And, um, you know... For science and for the challenge and for the content, I'll do it. They added well a whole bunch of stuff, but first off, we have now have omens, which you unlock these, and then for each run, you can slot X amount, whichever the map allows you for. The first one allowed me three. This one's allowed me five because I'm assuming it's more difficult, or maybe also because I'm on a higher apocalypse. Not sure. I only have five to choose from though, so it makes this pretty easy. Tainted essence gains are increased. So we're getting 30% increased Tainted Essence. Oh, Tainted Essence stocks on the rise. All allies have 35 extra health and 8 mana. An additional move point. Ooh. And here's have the Leapfrog perk enabled. Which... Jump over it. Minus 1 move point cost and extra range. Ooh. That sounds neat. I don't know if that's one I'm going to use... A lot once I unlock some more elements, but for now it's great and really cool. I'm all about accessibility in games and making them more approachable, especially roguelikes. So if I wanted to, I could en enable boundless mode, and then you can enable as many omen slots as you want. It's just a matter of do you want to play the game with the difficulty it's tuned to, or do you want to play it the way you want to play it? No problem. Um, so you're able to do that right now. Again, it wouldn't even matter. I don't even have more omens, but. Something to keep note of. Enemies have extra health. This can only go well. You'll see this has two skulls difficulty. The last one had Juan. So let's hop into this. Now, I will say this video will be a return to form. You know, because if you watched my video at the beginning of... When was that? February or something? Or early January? Late January? Where essentially like, hey, we're going to do with the channel. What do I want to do with the channel? Right? We're still seeing how that's going to work, um, but in this case, I want to play Last Spell, and I want to show it off. And I know a lot of people just like that, like people with the Reddit post were talking about how they grabbed it when they saw my videos, and they've played it a whole bunch, and they love it, and I always enjoyed that, being able to show off different games, especially indie games, get people into them, show you some stuff you might not have known about otherwise, that I'm passionate about, so we're hopping into it. So, what the heck is The Last Wish? Well, categorically, I'm not entirely sure. It's a turn-based survival... Well, I say survival because you're just trying not to wipe up. Uh, roguelike... I don't know. Point is, we got a city, right? Pretty obvious. We've got our heroes, our characters, warriors. We've got mages working on the spell, the uh, the seal or whatever. Meanwhile, we got all these bad, creepy, crawly dudes getting all up in our biz, and we're not we're not fans of that, because the story is essentially things didn't go well. Something, something, devil, something, something, apocalypse, something, something. Who really knows? Point is, the darkness or ma evil magic wizard uh, demon things pretty much just own Earth now. They're everywhere, and humanity is down to its last couple cities. So we're trying to hold them down and fight back the evil. So that's what we're trying to do. 
Uh, I think it kind of came from like mages or something, and they like messed with magic or something. Like I don't, I I spark noted it, so I'm not like you know. But so each game, you're gonna have the circle. Holy, okay. So it looks like in order to beat this map or save this town, we will need seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 days. We'll have to survive 12 days in order for the mage to break the spell. It's important to note, I think the last city I needed to survive five or six. And then on the last round, there's a boss. Uh, there was a new boss in the last town I had done, and um, I, it had been going flawlessly. And then the boss round happened, and oh boy, it, it went poorly real quick. I pulled it out, but it wasn't clean. But it doesn't matter. As long as you survive, you survive. So that's what we're here to do. You get three random characters to start. Again, you have all the different meta progression. You're able to fortify the city with defenses. You get gold. You build things. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to go through it all. Right? <sighs> to begin with, round one. First off, mist. Ooh, bad. Can't do anything about that. That's the darkness coming in. The, the, the creepy crawlies. The evil. It shows at the beginning of the, the round, or the day... Where enemies are going to be coming from. Two skulls also indicates roughly the amount of enemies or how hard the wave will be. Two is decently hard, above average. I mean, obviously it could be one skull. And yes, at some point you can have two, three, four getting hit from all sides. So it ramps up in difficulty, as you could imagine. So... We actually don't even really get to do anything. We just have to stop the first attack. So we're going to deploy phase first. After the first day, I'll be able to show you uh, the building aspect, uh, the workers, the economy, blah, 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 the shops, all that good stuff. So to start, we need to first identify our dudes. What are we working with? So if we go to their character sheets, we have Matthias. Now... They're all procedurally generated, I will say. They changed it so you can completely customize, like, well, frankly, a lot of things. You can even get a seed or whatever, you know, a code, give that to other people. The quality of life changes they made that I've seen so far, real good. Because another thing, too, is when I played it, ranged weapons, specifically bows, it was like bows or lose. They have since, at least I was playing with it, Made melee seem a lot more viable, as well as added some other weapons which I haven't been played with. Um, all that good stuff. So, character details. Um, what else have they done? Oh, the meta progression, which I think I'll be able to get to as well after the first day, is now in between days. Because when we played before, if you want to make meta progression, you'd have to wait until the run was over. So, you would do things, try your best, blah, then get the upgrades. But it made it harder to, like, really notice the unlocks and the progression you were making. So now being able to do it in between rounds when you unlock achievements and stuff, big fan. So anyway, back to it. Again, this video is harking back to old, more of a Let's Play style video. Episode 2, if we want to, might be a thing. I don't know if it'll be on this channel, however. I don't know if we'll make series a whole big thing, because even like Skyblock I've been enjoying, but the fall off in interest, you know, that's just how those sort of series go. So might go on more Mr. Fruit. If you've, if you've seen over there, we have a lot of Let's Plays, or I currently have a new channel I'm working on called Mr. Fruit Uncut. Uh, the logo is a, is a whole watermelon instead of like a slight, it's, it's, it's punny anyway, which is going to be more like VOD, videos or videos otherwise I wouldn't put here which will probably be maybe some more of these things or like some gameplay segments from streams that never would never make it into videos or even for instance like uh, I'm probably going to upload like Deep Rock Galactic gameplay because we uploaded the video here but some people also want to see like the full thing unedited because you know the Deep Rock video came out to be like 15 minutes let's say but recording was an hour and a half so if you watch that here or something, you can be like, oh, well, I let's go watch the whole thing. And then you can go over there. That's the idea. I'm juggling a lot. So 
it's a pipe dream, you know, but I'm going to try to make it happen. Being able to juggle all that. So look for that. It'll either be there or more Mr. Fruit. If it ends up happening, I'll make like a community poster or, or I'll probably pin a comment down below as an update. So anyway, Martius, uh, everybody comes with, I believe, always three traits. Now, they can be good or bad. They're not perks because they could be bad. Herbalist, we get extra health regen. We receive extra healing, but our physical damage ain't great. We do less isolation damage. And we have extra mana regen, but less block. So it seems like we would be some sort of a magic or ranged user, which ends up working because we actually have a magic orb, which I don't remember. I think these might have been in the game when I played or a little, but I never really got to it or used it very often. I think I kind of remember the death ray, mayhaps. So rocking the magic orb, one-handed weapon. Offhand, we got shield, giving them block. You can also do two loadouts. You got all your gear, so like I don't have a helmet or a trinket yet. But you can buy those. You can loot those. Uh, gives extra points. Everybody starts with pretty much the same thing here. So for the most part, we're going to keep Marty's here. Because maybe they changed it, but when I played, you'd get three random characters with three random weapons. And at first, I'd be like, oh, okay, so here's our archer. Here's a, Without actually looking at the stats, when in reality... Sometimes it's better to swap the gear around. So I don't know if they made a smarter system to where, you know, if it spawns in, they're probably more aligned with the weapon they're having. I don't know. We're, we're going to see if it ends up being something. So we have Xenia, who's a poacher, giving us extra critical and damage. Wow. That's a good trait. Less bag slot, but an additional move point, which is all right. And delicate. Minus 30 armor isn't great. Because it definitely seems like you want to be a melee character. And again, you have an axe, so that makes sense with a shield. Next up, we have a birdie, a juggler. Better accuracy, but negative 12 critical. Ugh. It's not great. I mean, at least you're accurate. 30 extra armor. Less healing received, however. So they're an archer. So I think they actually might have made it. So it's smarter uh, pairing with your randomized characters because I'm not going to end up changing any of their gear. That works. Got a wooden hand crossbow. I'm a big fan of the crossbow. Although like longbow or shortbow or whatever is pretty sane, insane. But So now we have to deploy. Once we deploy, we can't move. It, obviously, it takes turns. So then the enemies will spawn and it can be tricky because while I know they're coming from here, I don't know how many and where, you know. Will they only be able to move two? Are they going to move four? Do we have crawlers? Are they going to... Because they could spawn over here. Or over here. You don't really know. So you try and prepare for... Um, whatever you can. Uh, we will... Probably put the melee up there. Ah, that feels a little close though. You also have ten movement points? Oh my... My, God, my boy, you're going to be schmoving. But jeebus. The mage... Let's look at your range. Pretty good range. So, not too worried about it. You also have nine movement. Jeebus. Everybody's, everybody's zooming. None of my other characters like this. I think, well, the omen and everything else that we applied seems to be helping a whole bunch. So, we'll kind of try and cover our bases. We'll have arrow person here in case they spawn here. Magic wielder over here in case they spawn over here. And then... We want our melee to kind of be close because obviously they got to get in and then ideally get out. But with 10 movement, we're pretty good. So I know what you're thinking. What the heck? We're like 13, 14 minutes in. We haven't even started. Heck yeah, baby. Got some advanced GG. Used to code Mr. Fruit. Sheesh. Like I said, this is some vintage Mr. Fruit stuff. This isn't trying to appeal to somebody whose attention span is 10 seconds, right? This is for the connoisseur, the indie game enthusiast, or someone who enjoys my content. So that's what we're, we're sure. Is it going to be the the most, you know, is this going to go viral? No, absolutely not. I don't need to, though. Because, again, focusing on what do I want to do? I want to make this video. And I know the people that do want to watch it will enjoy it. So that's what matters. So, anyhow, we're going to end the phase. And let's see what we got here, Chief. See, and so a couple crawlers. You gotta watch out for them because they're speedy, speedy little sons of guns. 
So let's walk through the UI real quick. Top left, night one, turn one. Turns matter somewhat for rewards at the end of the night. This is my current Tainted Essence. Um, again, I'll, I'll walk through this stuff at the end of the, the turn. This is the night progress. So how many more waves, essentially, of creepy crawlers we're going to find? Zombies or whatever you want to call them. And then once you get towards the end, it'll also give you a number, roughly. So if it says, like, 48, I mean, there's 48 dudes left. Um, or if you ha if they haven't even yet spawned, you'll know. Here's the panic level. You want to you want to manage this, and I'll explain why. So right now, no panic. City's vibing. They're cool. All all the citizens in their huts and they're d doing all the things. They're vibing. I mean, even though obviously this place has seen better days. Yikes! But we do have one shop and a, two houses. There's a couple civilians. So anyway. They don't want to, they're scared, right? And they're like, protect us. So, if an enemy spends an entire turn within the haven, which is essentially like within the, the walls, uh, panic. Or a building located within the haven is damaged. Now, you'll see we already have a couple like walls already uh, here. And actually, horizontal gate, that's freaking sick. I've never seen those before. Wooden walls, blah, blah, blah. So they can hit the defensive stuff, the walls, and that'll create some panic, but not as much as actually going in and like hitting our things. So we don't want them to come in here either because then our magic circle only has 100 health. If that falls, we lose. GG. Um, so yeah, well, let's get to it. Every character has action points, mana, move points. All of this can be done in a single turn. Next turn, excuse me, it'll regenerate, obviously. Now, depending on the weapon they wield is entirely what their abilities and combat prowess is going to be. So since I have an axe, I have Shred, which hits three tiles, one tile in front of me. They'd be right next to me. I have an Intimidating Scream, a little AoE that debuffs their damage for a couple turns. I have Axe Boomerang, which can hit whole bunch of people in front into the side of me or I have a punch everyone comes with a punch and then depending on like what armor you have I think my boots or something give me dodge the number above it is how many action points it's going to use um, and the blue number is obviously how much mana I'm going to use for it so if I wanted to use this it's a good skill and because of that it takes two action points and three mana you only recover so much mana between days. So you don't recover it turn by turn in the night. You recover some as soon as you survive the night. And in this case, you know, I, I'm only going to regen six. So if I use three of these things, I'll immediately have some depleted mana for the next one. So sort of managing that, but there's also buildings that can assist with that. Same thing. Uh, his weapon's a hand crossbow, so that's what he's going to be using. The magic orb, so we're going to be using this. And in fact, let's learn a little bit more about said magic orb, because I'm not entirely sure what it does. So obviously magic damage. It actually has a real big multiplier for isolation damage. But didn't you actually have a minus, minus 10% isolation? What are the odds of that? I've like never seen that, and you actually have a weapon that wants to isolate people. We have the death ray. That's pretty sick. A lot of damage, but you can see you pay the price. Two action points and six mana. That's a lot. Uh, there's also a number below each ability, so even if I have enough action points and mana, I can only use this twice during a turn. Can't use it three times, even if I'm able to. We have... Pretty much our basic attack here, in fact, which is just straight damage, I think, and does more based on isolation damage. So you can see on the right side below runner, it shows us the runner's like little da likely damage. They're, in this case, their negative dodge, their movement points, their health, armor if they have any, and then the combat essentially solving itself. So... Base damage would be somewhere between 60 to 77. 
with my isolation multiplier adds anywhere from 34 to 44. So the final damage will be anywhere from 94 to 121, sort of a roll. And if it crits, end up doing that much damage. It's important to note too, that on the character screen, for instance, reliability is a stat you can increase that essentially lowers the variance in an attack. So it'll make it more likely you end up hitting it. So like it says here, if I have 100% reliability, it'll always hit for 77. Wouldn't have to worry about it. So we also have Putrid Ball, which poisons people that inflicts damage over time. So I believe it do does damage to the person in the middle and then spreads poison to those around them. I don't know how much poison damage it does. It says poison 30, so maybe it's a stack of 30, so they'll take 30 damage. I'm not sure. Then we've got our hand crossbow. Really good at weakening a whole bunch of enemies. Because another thing is, you don't always have to kill an enemy. And I say that because even our heroes have them. Called wounded. So, if they hit certain thresholds by losing enough health. For instance, the runner has movement points decreased by two and dodge decreased by half. If we get them even lower, they do 30% less damage and lose another three movement points. And it's permanent. So sometimes you're not able to clear everyone. And so just to, to stem the bleeding, you can essentially just sort of maim a couple of them. You don't got to kill. Set them up for maybe another turn. But that's what uh, the crossbow can be really good at. I'll go ahead and lead with my melee. Because um, we're actually pretty lucky anyway. This is a pretty good setup for what we got here. So I could hit him with my ability. And frankly, it'd be real nice. But the other thing too is this is wave one, night one. I don't really need to use any mana yet. We can wait for the rest of the night. See? When I'm hovering over somebody with an attack, by the way, a sword means that it'll do damage. A skull with a question mark means it could kill, but it's that variance, like I said. So the damage range has the potential to kill them, but doesn't mean we're always going to hit it. And then uh, you can kind of see with this guy, it's a little... Um, oh, there you go. So just a skull means no matter what, it's as long as you hit, it'll kill them. Because obviously everyone has like a dodge percentage chance. So just because it can kill, the important thing is I still got to hit it. So anyway, I'm going to whack them all with my axe. Decent damage. And then I'm probably just going to do it again. And then we're going to hop up one row. And we're going to keep doing this. So the axe is pretty good at AoE damage. Not the highest damage, obviously, for single targets. Because you're sacrificing that for the ability to do... Pretty good AOE damage. Uh, I think we'll just finish them off. So we ended up missing him. Awkward. But with seven more movement, that's not a terrible thing because I'll end up whacking over here. I think we crit or something. And then this person's wounded. So you can see if I hold alt, it'll show me all currently how far the enemy can go. So like, holy cow, they can already get into your city. That's the runner. If I, if I took care of the runner, you know, the farthest they're going to get is like what? Right here. So it's important to always look at this. Manage it. This guy can get a little, pretty far. But so what would normally be like this movement, now that he's wounded, suddenly ain't doing much. And he's going to do half damage. So not even really worried about it. And I just realized too, yeah, I guess we have what? Seven block? It's not great. But because we also have that negative armor debuff, our frontliner having no defense... Uh, certainly isn't ideal, but that's okay. So now we'll use uh, the crossbow. We don't need to get real fancy with this. We have multi-shot, which is fun. So I get to mark two targets. I can hit the same target twice if I wanted to, but that's when I said it's pretty good at just maiming. Can weaken a couple people or clean a whole bunch of people up in one go. Uh, poison people and reduce their movement speed for three turns, actually. Blaze, which is cool. It propagates, a.k.a. it'll jump to adjacent enemies. And pretty good damage, but don't need any of that right now. My first priority is getting rid of the runner, because obviously they can get in the back line 
We don't want that. So hit him with two attacks. We'll miss the first. Feels bad. As long as this one hits, though, we'll be good. So hit him. Maimed him a little bit. I'm going to move up so I can actually hit this fella in the back. We can both of you. And I could use, like, slow death. I might just do that, actually. Let's hit these guys. So these, they're pretty much useless, right? So I'm not worried about cleaning them up right now. We'll be able to do that in time. I want to... I'm only going to have two movement after this. I'm going to slow death him. So poison damage. Uh, as well as reduce movement speed. So essentially, I mean, he's like, he's pretty much just going to die in a couple turns. We're not, we're not that worried about him. Uh, I also just realized there's barricades, which is why my movement is looking so scuffed. Which isn't great because... Well, actually, no, you got a lot of armor and block. Why, why am I worried about you? You're fine. The only person that could really do anything is a runner. I think that's the only person that's going to be able to get far enough. And if that's the case... We take that damage pretty well. So I'm not worried about it. So on to our magic orb. We are going to kill you. It's that big isolation damage. I like the animation as well. We're not going to go with any putrid ball right now. But could kill. And we did. Could kill. And we didn't. Got too excited there. Uh, there is such things of line of sight. So... You know, these stone walls, for instance, uh, in the city will offer greater defense. Obviously, they'll be healthier, but they'll block my line of sight. So you have to get certain things. I haven't unlocked it yet, but I think you can get, like, towers. I'm trying to remember what I had back back in the Dizay, but again, that was a while ago. Uh, so I'm going to move up far enough so that I can actually hit them. Again, didn't kill them. A little annoying, but that's just how the cookie crumbles, so... I will eliminate you, and then we'll reset, sort of soft reset back here. I usually like to lock down areas too, so it appears we'll probably get most people spawning here, less people spawning here. So one person take care of this, two people take care of this, and we should be vibing. So we can go ahead and turn. Uh, they do have lots of crawlers, and hold up. This is new. Uh, I mean, I've seen them way back in the in the day. But like in that last city, I never saw them. So, the winged. These bird, like monsters, thrive on harassing the city and spreading panic. They tend to avoid the battlefield. And if it wasn't obvious, they're flying. So it's important to hover over enemies too if you don't know what they are or a new enemy. Because this tells me I got to take care of this because the winged doesn't care. He's just going to beeline it, right? Whereas all these monsters, for the most part, except runners, will still try and engage in combat and hurt us. But runners and winged, they're just like, no, nah, screw that, we're going in. So you always want to take care of them. And you'll notice too, suddenly just like, holy, like where'd they all come from? Yeah. It can get pretty overwhelming pretty quick sometimes. So you must stay ever vigilant. Besides from that, is there anything else really to... Address. Oh, the fact that they're flying too is important because they can just go over your walls. They don't care. Uh, so I always try and take care of flying because they're always really annoying. And that's exactly what we will start to do here. I'm going to try and just... Oop. Actually, I need to move so I can hit them both. Uh, they are... I did not realize their game and also our lack of damage. It's not as good as I thought. We did hurt them a little bit, but if I can wound them a second time. Oof. Which we're just off of. It's unfortunate. But I'm going to do that again. So now their movement is super neutered. So I'm really not worried about it. We can, we can let them live for a little while. Now I can do some blaze propagation damage. And when I said adjacent, it's important that that doesn't mean diagonal. So if I were to hit 
this person, it wouldn't jump, jump, you know. It would, in fact, it might hit me. So you have to make sure you can find a big line, and then it could jump randomly. You can't control it, so it's not going to always find the best path. So I got to figure out where I want to start it. Probably something like this. Although I could also wait and see what damage we could do with him. But instead, I think let's try to hit the front line here and make a path for our axe user. So this will take two mana, but we'll spend it. All right, so we can a good bit. I could propagate again. And I do want to, but it's a matter of where do I want to do it. Might do it in... Uh, yeah, let's just hit him. I, if we end up killing him, cool. We did. Okay. And now these are all pretty weak, so... Uh, Zaniel shouldn't have that hard of a time taking them all out. Let's see. If I were to use... Oh. That's nice to see. Oh, that is optimal. We're going to throw it in the back. Because we can um, go one space out from us. Or a couple spaces. Um, but we'll hit the back line, the healthier ones, because they're all going to get one shot. Very nice. And then we're just going to try and clean up a lot of the rest of these. I'm going to... Yeah, we're going to whack here. I only have one action point left. He didn't die. That's unfortunate. Trying to decide where we want to hit. I think I'll go here to just finish those off. Then we'll back up a little bit. Uh, can anyone reach us? So we could get hit by a couple people. So I'm actually going to back it up. Um, and at the very least, only one person can hit them. Oh, no. Well, I guess they get hit by two. You have the most block, though, so it's best he's over there. Moving on to this side. More people here than I thought. Mm, TBH. We could poison the runners, and it would kill them. But the issue with that is by the time it kills them, they're probably going to be within my city. However, that's just so tempting. Looking at that. So, uh, screw it. That's what we'll do. Everybody's poison. Now, I really want to try and kill this guy. Because my weapon does more damage if they're isolated. And since he has an adjacent unit. So, if I were able to kill that, it'd be easier to take him out. But I don't see that happening. No, I'm trying to... Okay, so I, I need to wound these runners because they're going to be making it too far. Okay, so poison will actually finish them off, so pog in there. I'm going to try and weaken or weaken the, the winged. Okay, we'll take that. And then let's see where we can get hit. So we can't get hit there. We're pogging out of our mind. We're out of things to do. And our More have arrived. We got hit, but it didn't hit our health. Paw. Because the important thing to note, too, is you have to, again, monitor your own heroes. Because if we get wounded, not good. We will also lose two points. And if we get second wounded, we lose another three. And just like them, um, reduce by two action points. Uh, they become pretty potato-ish. So we want to avoid that. Now, since this is sort of the last wave, we can kind of see the last bit. We now know there's 38 enemies left, so we're pretty much looking at everything left. Which means, especially since I'm restoring 11 mana, that I can get down to, what, 28? And I'll be back to full, and then I can still dip below that. It's not a big deal. So this looks to give us the most value. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to hit him with the... Was it yeah, the freaking death ray, bro? Stupid. Now all these little runners do be harsh in my vibe because I need to weaken them all. 
and also stop you. And that's going to be hard to do. So, and again, it's because you're not isolated. If you were isolated. Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Just wound you again. And I need to wound you. It's all of our action points. No one can hit us there. That side is vibing for now. There's another winged, which is annoying, but... I keep saying winged. I know it's winged. But I guess for the name of something, winged sounds cool. Um, anyhow. All right, now we got to figure it out. Uh, how do we want to do this? Propagation here would be nice. Now, I only restore four mana. doesn't restore a whole bunch, so I'm actually capped. I want to be able to restore more. But it's not... I don't always have to be at full. I just try to manage as much as possible, especially in these earlier nights when it is easier. So if I can use less resources and get away with it, I'm going to use less resources and get away with it. With that said, I think I'm going to propagate here. Hit all these. Very nice. That also opens up... Oh, did we miss? Oh, we did miss. It'll open up that. We got to we gotta tell these people to chill. So see, that's a huge thing. Since this dude's double wounded, like he still ain't moving nowhere. So again, you know, I can kind of uh, ignore him for now, more or less. Uh, slow death. It's just the fact that it's single target I'm not big on. So just going to try and wound as many as I can. We're not going for kills necessarily yet. Probably on these people closer to us, but... Something to note, too, is you can move, and as long as you don't perform an action, if you click delete, you can go back. So you can always kind of use it to scout, because, like, I wanted to know, w would I be able to hit them in one shot? And we can! And let's find out if we will. We will. So how much mana do we regen? Okay, so we regen six. So I can do this pretty soundly. Not really thinking about it. We missed on some of that, which never lucky, but it's okay. And then I'm tempted to come over here. Granted, it'll only give me one more movement. And unless I wound them, I won't go over super well. Uh, let's... Wound the people closest to the walls. And if I actually wound you again and you again. Okay, so. Should only be getting hit by one person, which is okay. Alright, give you a whack. I'm going to run over here. Now, they could hit the wall. Will they? Probably not. Actually, I'm not entirely sure how they'll target. I'll do that. He might get hit by three, but because they're all so wounded, the, the damage is negligible. So we're out of stuff to do in the turn. Poison damage be poisoning. You missed. Oh, well. And see, they went for me instead of the wall, which is nice. Would much rather that. As long as I'm not taking damage, which we didn't. You're now isolated, so we are doing some bigger damage here. Which is nice. Um, yeah, I'll just hit you with that. Oof. Mm. I think I'm going to hit you because you can still hit the wall and cause a little bit of panic. The reason you want to manage your panic as well is because for each panic that isn't alerted, you get better rewards at the night. So right now I get max rewards, but you know, if they hit here, I'd miss out on some, miss out on more and more. So... That's why that's also such a big deal. Um, night to night. Could death beam here. Tempting. But I don't know if we need it. Let's actually see what all we can finish on the right side. Because I might be able to move him over and use some of his action points there if everything works out. So I could actually jump over this. But we'll wait on that. We'll get a kill right there. We'll have to take care of that more or less now. 
Let's multi hit here. Uh, just gonna take care of this now. It's still alive. Wow, that's incredible. Okay. Maybe I won't have as much stuff left as I thought. Well, then let's take them both out. As long as we don't miss, we don't. I'm pogging. Let's hit you. Okay, pog. Do the same here. Hit you. Not a high roll. Unlucky. But we're still fine. Uh, now I'm going to... I don't even have to body block. So we have two mana left we can help uh, this side with. Which should be enough. In fact, if I could... Ah, not quite. Let's just wound what we can. Or try to isolate some things, but... Make that easier said than done. So can't hit the the fly or whatever, which is annoying. The winged. Which I'm sure people are probably like, it's winged. Stop saying that's cringe, but. All right, one wounded on you. So the important thing is I'm actually now out of quick shot. So unless I want to use blaze, which I'd rather not, I'll have to use my other ability, which I think I will. I'm actually going to use it on said winged. I'm out of movement abilities, but uh, poisoned and can't move as far as so right now. We don't really need to worry about them. So that's a matter of uh, managing who all could actually get to the walls right now. So you'd be one of them. Uh, you, could, I think that's technically city limits, but yeah, I don't want it. Well, let's see. We both make it. Um, let's see if we can get the kill here. Okay. Definitely want to go for the kill there. And then she now nobody can even make it here, so I know I'm chilling. So now we'll go for the kill here. Nobody's gonna hit city limits. Nobody's gonna get hit. We're vibing, so we end the turn. One here didn't move, but that's okay. They didn't need to. They're hitting these walls. Rude. You're going to die to poison, so I don't have to worry about you. Let's uh, just start whacking the back line here, I guess. I'll actually end up hitting the wall myself. Do I really care about that? I could go here. Sure. Let's do that. And then I'll have to jump over this thing. Hey! Then you could get your fill over there. Okay, so. Hmm. You know, I'll go over here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you died of poison though. Pause. Whack you. Then the problem is we don't have line of sight on this guy. I actually don't know. I don't think this dude's moved at all. I don't know why. Bit of a bit of an old one, isn't he? So we gotta get line of sight. So freaking <laughs> didn't kill him, but that's okay. And I could let them die to poison, but we'll just end their suffering for now. Are we heroes or legend yet? We freaking did it, guys. So another night survived. Here's what all comes to matter. So. XP, depending on the things we kill, obviously the harder they are, the more XP we get. Our heroes leveled up. Ha ha! Which, yes, there's XP progression. There's talent, like skill trees. Oh! Which, if you know me, big skill tree fan. I, I would probably kill for skill trees. We got an S rating because everyone's alive. No one lost HP. Then here's the panic. So, because we uh, managed to roll this, we get better rewards. An item that's an S rank, and here's the essence. So you also get rated on some of your actions. So, um, just by killing monsters, the default stuff we managed to get 426. Get through night one of Lakeburg, we got 649. Now, the important thing is, I'm pretty sure this is like a one time story sort of thing. So, if I were to replay Lakeburg, I wouldn't get this again for surviving night one. 
Uh, single person killed at least 20. Knight finished within two turns after the last enemy spawned, so that's when turns can sort of matter. And one here inflicted four critical hits in a single turn. Wow, I don't remember that. Way to go. So pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. So the next day has arrived. Now we can enjoy the spoils of our labor. So first off, I'm going to grab the item we received from last night, which, as you can see here, I get to choose. Now, two different things to keep in mind about items. There's rarity, white, green, blue, red, uh, which obviously like common, uncommon, rare, epic. But then there's also levels. So this is level one, so there's nothing. Or no, it's not even level one, actually. If it was level one, it would have a Roman numeral. It can go all the way up to, I don't know how many levels. I've seen four. I'm sure it goes up to five, maybe even more. Depends on how long the game goes and stuff. So better rarity doesn't always mean better item. But what a rarity does is it adds extra perks. So in this case, this defensive turtle charm, if it was common, would only give us 3% extra resistance and two block. But because it's uh, uncommon, it also gives us plus 3% propagation damage. So this is a trinket, which is nice because currently no one's even using a trinket slot. Helmet, which is also nice because no one's wearing a helmet. This gives us resistance, health, and armor. Or another trinket, 10 reliability, 10%. As well as 4% damage and 4% critical. It would be kind of nutty if we want somebody to just be doing lots of damage. In fact, you know, maybe we even make a point, especially reliability, to go with the archer here, possibly. I really like the helmet for our melee, since they have no armor or anything, but I think I'm going to go with the Baron Cape. So we can now open this up. Uh, I think we will give this to our archer. Take it, my friend. Now let's level everybody up. So when you level up, you get to increase two, uh, two stats. The stats that show up in the rarity are random. Uh, in this case, a 9% 9 9 9 increase in critical is kind of insane. So I'm going to take that. You get two re-rolls as well. But every time you re-roll, you get less options. Wow. Okay. I, th yeah, I think I'll just go critical power as well. So obviously right now, a crit does 150% damage. This do 180% damage. So maybe we build this person sort of crit-like. Now on to the perks. Oh, yeah. Which has also been um, increased and changed a whole bunch from when I played. So... You get to spend a skill point wherever you want. You can spend however many you want in a single row, but then the more you unlock. So, like, if I put one perk in, then I'll be able to get two. And then I think I need to put two in to be able to get three. And, you know, three, blah, 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 blah. And they sort of have categories, too, if you just want to look. So, like, for instance, we're ranged. So we go into ranged. And every two attacks from the hero dodged by at least one unit, we would restore an action point and be more accurate for two turns. So if things keep dodging our attacks, we're pissed, and we get a little bit better at it. But that's not to say you can't use other things you'll find in here. Extra mana increased by the level of the hero. That could be casters or mages or whatever, but I mean, hey, we use mana. That's not bad. The fatality skill allows us to execute enemy, any enemy in melee range under 10 health. Uh, cool, but... That is, that's more me melee. We're not really going to be using that. We can get an extra stun chance, which isn't bad, but I I don't think we have anything that can even stun currently. When attacking an isolated unit, we actually get 40% extra liability. I like that. So that would be 50% reliability, but again, they'd have to be isolated. We can get an extra bag equipment slot. We can get the cheer skill. Or armors increased uh, based on daily health regen. So I'm actually not like the biggest fan of any of these. Um, we, I think we might go perseverance though, because accuracy is increased by 11%. But 
There are like there's specifically some mobs too who are really good at dodging. Uh, so I think I think what because like I do like the cherry picking, but we'll wait. And the thing too is you you can see what else you, uh, you'll have the chance to get because it's not all the same. Uh, these still are randomized, so there's like different things that could show up. So like the next one would be unlocks the mark skill, which allows us to debuff the target's dodge. Um. Which, you know, maybe there's an argument like, okay, well then just do that. Critical runes. This is nice. So every 10% of missing mana, we get more crit chance. And we want a crit right now. We don't want that because we don't want to get hit. Unlocks contamination skill, allowing to apply contagion. I don't know what that is. When the unit dies, all of its negative alterations are applied to two randomly adjacent units that are not already contagious. Stun transfer can still fail because of stun resistance. Interesting. When attacking a unit with full health, the attack gets plus 15% critical. Ooh. That's real nice. Extra experience. I'm a sucker for that. Less health, but more critical. Glass cannon. Oh, sheesh. We're all about this. This one. So, if that's the case, I think I either want to do reliability or mana. Because we're going to be slinging some stuff. I mean, granted, as long as we have the crossbow, we don't spend crazy amounts of mana, but we can if we want to use blaze a whole bunch, which I do. So, you know what? Let's give you that. Again, I'm breaking everything down as well in like these first episodes. So everybody can really get a feel for it, so it takes longer, obviously. And also, I'll just be honest, with turn-based games, I'm a little slower. I take my time. Um, you know, I'm not speedrunning it. So we have here our magic wielder. Which gets the same mana growth option. Whenever the hero is adjacent to a building, defense, or obstacle, extra armor. Interesting. Cherry picking. We like the reliability. In fact, I think we might just go with that because the magic orb does like isolation. So we'd be even better at it. But maybe we should... Well, it's a thing. Do you want to increase what you're good at or sort of cover your weaknesses like strengthening your strengths or strengthening your weaknesses could be an argument for both right let's level them up eight percent extra damage i'm gonna be honest unga boonga yeah that looks good to me oh 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 well now this is interesting first off experience gain Ugh, tempting daily mana region that's a lot of region and i'm really tempted because that means more death rays now, multi-hit would be super... Like, this on our archer with that crossbow? Oh, I'd be popping off. We don't have any multi-hit skills. Doesn't mean we can't get a weapon later on that gives us extra multi-hits. In fact, one might argue, maybe we should make them the archer. And I'm actually thinking about that. You're more accurate. Less critical... I forgot you have Juggler, though. Yeah, that does make the crit build we want to do. In fact, I ended up giving you the mage thing anyway. You know what? I'm doing it. We're going to make them... The mage. We're going to swap. Even though the, the main regen... Ugh, on Birdie sucks. And it's so much better on Martius. Mm. And now I'm kind of reconsidering. Hold on. Yeah, screw it. Yeah, let's just do more multi hits. That's fine. Uh, okay, perks. Now let's assume you're going to be using bow now. Or crossbow at the very least. You can get more mana, but you got a lot and you recover a whole bunch. So, cherry picking isn't terrible. I'm not a big fan of it. everything else. You don't have extra accuracy, so you know what? We'll go with Perseverance with you. Why not? Now we got to swap what you're rocking. So, I think I am going to swap this for now. And we haven't invested too much, so what we were going for is still achievable. Right? We didn't... Uh, 
hurt ourselves too much. If we'd done this further into the builds where we've already flushed out a lot of their stats more, then that could end up hurting us more. But they're still very pliable. But we really got to get you some mana regen. You don't even recover a single death ray. So we'll work on that. Xaniel gets to level up. You do be our melee. So giving you extra armor or block. Um, or even just resistance reduction could be good against all sorts of debuffs. Armor is currently... So even though I could get this armor, it would still reduce it by 20. So we'd only have 24 armor. But it's better than nothing. 14 black isn't terrible. Block obviously falls off the later game when they do more damage. But for right now, it wouldn't be terrible. So I think we'll actually go block for now. Momentum is really good for swords, but we don't have a sword. We could get a sword, but mm, we don't have that right now. We could just do physical damage, which pretty much all melee. Now, granted, there is like magic scepter where you can bonk some people, but let's just go. Let's just assume we'll be using the axe for now. But momentum could pop off for us. The sword is fun. And none of these other stats are like game changing, you know what I'm saying? So let's get momentum and hopes we find a sword. Perks. I likes the spread. No shot. Oh. So that other skill everyone can get fatality. Of course, everyone else can get it. It's really good for melee units. Because like we can weaken them. And instead of having to use an action point to finish them off, it's just a free execute if you're next to them. So, sprint skill's not bad. We restore move points in exchange for health, but that's not what I was looking for. Uh, the next one, whenever the heroes hit, automatically cast spiky counter with damage equal to the hero's block. Ah, so it's a good thing we went with block. Relentless. Whenever this here is three less current movement and attacking melee range. Restore. Ooh, that's cool. All right, well, I don't know if we'll get to this. Let's look at tier five for the fun of it. Whenever a unit is killed within a range of three, the overkill damage is transferred to all adjacent units. That is pretty crazy. Uh, sheer power. All attacks now ignore half of the target's resistance. This effect can be accumulated with magic damage unique property, thus ignoring all the resistance. Exploit weakness. Isolation is increased by 100%. The hero's accuracy. Opportunism is increased by 100% the hero's resistance reduction. Increases the damage of all defenses. Ooh, like catapults, ballistic ball, within a range of 10 by 50%. Whole bunch of extra poison damage. When attacking a tile within the haven, the attack gets extra accuracy and damage. So, you know, if like we're getting overrun. When attacking the enemy with at least 600 max health, 20% extra total damage and 2% every extra max health. That'd be really good for bosses. Uh, let me see. Armor increase by daily health regen. I mean, it sucks right now, but that could be good for later, but when applying poison, we ain't doing that. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's unfortunate. We got a whole skill tree random, randomly selected to poison. Another hero is adjacent to a building defense or obstacle. Extra armor. It could be good. We don't have a whole bunch of obstacles right now, though. But I don't really want... I, I, this boy's already zooming for 10. You know what I'm saying? Every four enemies killed. Extra daily mana regen. Mm. I actually don't really like any of these, I'm being honest with you. We go Perseverance. Not huge on it. Actually, let's do Perseverance because we're so often doing AOE damage that I feel like missing is very... But on the other hand, Sprint could help us get to places. Takes 10 health, though. 
Like, if we really need to zoom somewhere. All right, fine. I'm going to use spread. I don't think it's going to be an immediate use, but we're investing in our future. So here is where the meta progression changed. Good quality life update. Typically, this wouldn't have happened until after an entire run. Welcome to the Aura the or Column, Commander. So you have like this light, dark thing going on. Dark is where you spend all the essence you get. It takes so much essence to unlock it. So right now, like I have 1,300. So I could put it towards... All my heroes ever having extra health. Wouldn't get it yet, though. But, like, I've already gotten two out of the upgrade. So this would be the third. I can get more mana. Heroes have extra daily health regen and mana regen. Now, see, that is tempting. Heroes just have more damage. It's super expensive, though. Heroes have plus 10 armor. New items can appear in the runs. A new omen. All heroes have extra damage. Probably won't do that right now because omens won't help me until next next game so maybe like closer towards the end or something lots of omens so i think i'm actually gonna go with the region and then i don't think we can afford anything else so it's a matter of what's the next thing we want to work towards maybe it's either more region again or armor I kind of like the region. Because a lot of things also scale off some region. So Now, the light lady over here, she gives you things when you complete achievements, essentially. So if I'm able to survive night four here, uh, I'll unlock the seer. If I buy or craft 50 items, uh, I'll now be able to find or craft epic items, you know, so on and so forth. So different kind of meta progressions. Real fun. I like it. It's how, like, like for instance, like, I bought the axe from the essence. Like, it wasn't a drop I was able to get uh, to begin with. It's same with, like, the magic orb. And, actually, the, uh, what you call it, crossbow. Both are new. Something else they also added. Um, an area where a lot of enemies recently died. The next day, um, corpses can appear. Corpses are obstacles, but you can use workers uh, to gain either gold and... And tainted essence or materials in tainted essence. Um, could have sworn in in like the tutorial or something. There was one that like could also randomly give you an item. Maybe I have to unlock that or something. Can also destroy them if I don't want them in my way. So it looks like for the next night they're still going to be attacking this one. We are one pip. Woo! So we have 105 gold, 100 materials, two workers. This is where city stuff comes into play. So right now, since you know it comes with a shop, we can look in the shop, see if we want to buy something. So I could buy a sword and give that, since we took momentum, but I'm not rushing to it. There's a holy ring, extra health regen, healing, opportunities, and momentum. Make ourselves immune. Sturdy boots, plus one. Resistance. Extra skill range, resistance reduction, and critical power. It's not bad. There's also like consumable scrolls you can use, which you put in your bag slots that gives you um, alternate abilities, essentially spells to use. We got another magic orb. Um, I usually don't buy gear here first night because we need to get working on our economy. Right? The economy, what are you talking about? So now we can build new structures, and I actually unlocked a couple recently, but we've got houses, which are important because they give you workers, and I'll show you what workers do. Scavenger's Camp generates passive materials, or you can send workers to get you more materials. Gold mine, obviously we like the gold mine. Uh, same thing, but for gold. The temple, which I would like, but might not be able to do that for a while. In between days, permanently increases everyone's max health. And gives you ways to restore health in between days. Same with the mana well, but for mana. We already have the shop. There's an armor maker. Where you can craft a defensive item every production phase. I don't know if it's for... I don't think... I think you can do it once for free. I'm not entirely sure. I think so. Same thing with blacksmith, which is melee weapons. Bow, bowyer? Bowyer? I don't actually say that. Um, 
where you arrange weapons, uh, magic weapons, and then an end. We like the ends. Because you can buy more heroes. Grant, uh, I think I can only have a max of four in my party anyhow, but it's good. But what you want to start doing, which I feel like isn't a huge surprise, is start with some gold mines. We got to get the economy going. Did I just build a scavenger's camp? I did. I could have sworn I was... Okay, this already makes things. But what the fudge? I, what? That's bad. That's bad. That's, that's not good. Okay. Huh. That's tragic. All right, so I'm going to use two workers to destroy this for 28 gold and some materials. Or you can focus it for more materials, but we need gold. Uh, it also frees up these places so that we can actually um, use them. Now, granted, how much... We need another worker for 40 gold, and this would give us 48 gold. Which would give us 50, which still isn't enough. Okay, so... We're going to get rid of that. So now, I can buy a gold mine. <laughs> yeah, I can. And then we were going to, yeah. Huh. The idea was we had two gold mines going here. Unlucky. All right. Well, we got some building materials. That's so sad. Okay. Now we get to build some defenses. I unlocked some new stuff. So last town, I only had this. Wooden stuff. I unlocked stone walls. Reinforced stone walls. Stone gates. More importantly, though, ballistas. I remember these. They're very fun. They just straight up shoot things if they come too close. Now, I also unlocked the mounted ballista, which is important. Because you could put these... Uh, yeah, you can put these behind walls and they're, they'll still shoot. Uh, the, the, uh, the problem with ballistas, you can see here, it's not the case. They have a line of sight and whatnot. So the mounted ballista do be more expensive, but it do be more pog. However, I don't really want to waste all my money on that right now. So we might just go with a normie ballista for now. We'll just do one. I'm not even going to do walls or anything. I don't think we, I don't think we'll need it. I wouldn't worry about it. I didn't end up using any of my corpses, but whatever. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, in fact, I'm pr I could just destroy them. The thing is, the enemies will have to actually like destroy these to move, which is cool. But also, my heroes can't get past it, so like my melee unit will be pretty useless. So. I think what I'll do is I'll demolish these so there's only one line of defense, so to speak. And then uh, let's just reset. We'll put... I feel like you're... Mm, yeah. You do more... We, we are less focused on killing. We're here with a whole bunch of our multi-hits here. So to set up kills for you and then you ideally are just nuking things. So let's do that. And we don't want to do anything else. I don't want to use the rest of my building defenses because I'm going to wait for that. So on to day two. I've already decided where I want to put them. Something to note too is every night the mist, so to speak, actually moves forward. So they'll immediately start spawning closer and closer, which is actually why that seer building I showed you that I can unlock. If you actually put that in the town every night, you can use workers to kind of push it back, which is real nice. But I don't even have the option to build that right now. We already see some winged. We have blockers, which are annoying. Um, they, well, do what you imagine. They block line of sight behind them. So you have to take them out before you're able to hit anything behind them, obviously. 
not as many people over here as I thought there might be. We might want to pivot a little bit. Kind of hover so we can do either or. But if I eliminate you, we'll be able to do isolation damage on you, which still... So see, now, like, this is just, like, your basic monster. and Not even with our isolation damage can I kill them. I, I, I mortally wounded them. Don't get me wrong. But not ideal. I still kind of want to hover over here. Because some of the ads... I mean, we'll probably still see some more ads, but, like, I'm looking... Looks like most of the things are spawning over here, so we'll start to rotate. Uh, I could finish them off, but the thing is, the crossbow will probably do that for me. And let's see, how do we want to work this melee wise? So we can just whack like this. Or I can hold off and let you deal with most of that. So then we mainly attack over here. See how much... Uh, the bolts aren't doing a lot of damage, but again... More so trying to just... Maim. Requires a line of sight. Why can't I see you? Are you too far in the mist, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Okay. Let's just puncture all of you all about. Don't take it too seriously. We missed. Okay, not a, not a great start. Uh, then I'll try and hit you again. Only one wound on you. Didn't even hit the second. It's not great. Let's move up so I can go here. So here is Dodger. It's the name. Uh, guess what? They like to dodge. Crazy, right? So that's why I ended up taking that one. Uh, yeah, the uh, Perseverance skill. So I'll even try and hit them and we'll see what happens. And we missed. Which gives us another skill point. Uh, which I will use on you. Because you're not dodging this one. Nice. Less movement as well. It's just that easy, folks. Uh, I'm going to poison you as well. Because I just don't want to get hit by anything. Alright, so nothing can hit us there. We're out of action points. Now we got to figure out what Melee Man wants to do. Melee Man. Laddy daddy Melee Man. What? Hmm. What do we want to do? Again, Corpse is kind of helping, but also kind of not right now. And line of sight here is tricky. I only have three movement out of this, and I'm not huge on that. Um, but mm, let's do it. Let's first weaken the blocker. Uh, I don't know why that guy looks bigger than normal, but he's just a normal dude. Weaken you. And we'll weaken you. Then I will move back to the safety of this. Now the cross bolt, hopefully it doesn't hit that. Well, no, maybe it does. I don't know. Now let's get our melee in there. Hey okay, an immediate miss. Unlucky. It's the stupid dodger, man. Uh, let's hit right here. And then uh, I can hit you. See, now you're cleaning up, buddy. And I could actually clean like all them up. However, I'd be risking getting hit by a whole bunch of stuff over there, which I don't really want to do. And then I can't really do anything else, so I'll just do evasion in case they do show up right here. Uh, increased dodge, we don't get hit. Okay, end the turn. The crossbow, okay, so ends up hitting them. 
Aha, the dodge ends up working. The wall now makes us so this, there's less separation, which is good and bad. Works both ways. God, there's so many of them. They're so tanky. Turns out that 20% HP thing kind of matter. Go figure, right? What is your increase here? Oh, extra accuracy, right? Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see what you can do here, buddy. No Dodge Reno. Oh, he lives? That's incredible. Five health. And I mean incredibly bad. <laughs> hmm. We can use our ability, but it, we're not getting as much value out of it as I would like. Not optimal. Could weaken damage of a group. I might have to do that soon. I think for now, finish you and maybe kill you. Huh? Then I'm going to propagate uh, damage here. It missed both of you guys. That's tragic. Okay. Yeah, I'll try and hold this side down by ourselves. Not too sure how that's going to go. Don't you dare dodge. Actually, feel free to. Oh, I was going to say, you'll give me another point. I'm going to do this so they're double wounded. Again. We kind of set them up like dominoes. Get them all weak. Then we go in for the kill. So we still need to... Why can't I... Oh, the blocker's blocking him. Well, sheesh, my guy. What about if I move up? Okay, we're good. Uh, hit you. You. And... Mm. You again. All right. Now they're not going to be moving an insane amount. Nope. You're out of action points. I don't love our options here, but I'll just try and whack as much stuff as I can. Again, we'll go for the same, just sort of wound, stem the bleeding. Nobody can hit us. And then we take him out. Yeah, but that's probably not going to happen. We would um, do pretty well for ourselves as well as, no, actually, the only person we'd isolate is them. Uh, could go for big poison here. I like that. Big poison. It's fine with me. And then let's weaken you. Poison should do the job on you fairly soon. Uh, we got blockers. Super early on, so I'm going to try and take them out somewhat now. Um, because I don't know what's going to spawn behind them. And I don't want to be boned before I... Even stand a chance. You're now out of the way. Everyone's used their action points. In the turn. Poison will kill most of them too, which is nice. Crossbow ends up killing them. Poor walls, man. They didn't ask for this. All right, so we've got one more wave before we end up seeing all the people we have left. So I think we're still doing okay. We can... So, like, an interesting thing is I could blaze here. But I can't control the propagation. So if it goes this way, it'll only propagate twice. But if it goes this way, it could propagate like a couple more times. But I can't really choose it. So the best one would probably be this. But I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I might. This might be a nice death ray moment. Would it even kill them? No. Wow. They are so tanky. But unfortunately, like I was worried about these blockers, do be blocking. I could poison them again. That might not be the worst idea, but I need to get around this blocker as 
screw it. Yes, the poison. Yes. And then if I could get the kill here, you'd be isolated. Let's just see what we can do. Random crit there would have been cool. We're not even still going to kill here. Why are you the way you are? At least poison will kill you. How far are you moving? Not far enough. Weaken you. All right, you're out of stuff. So let's move you. Let's put you right here. Uh, Right. So that person obviously needs to be stopped. They're going to make it in the city. Is there any big priorities otherwise? I could even just target them with my thing. Okay, so I forget too that I am going to have lots of mana. We regen a lot, so I can do this blaze a little more liberally than uh, I was originally planning. So this propagation, if I start here, should hit all of them. Oh, it went that way. Oh, I couldn't even see. Okay. Well, that's not worst case. Um, all right, so I can do it one more time. One dodged, so I actually got another skill point back, which is actually pretty big. Because now, um, I'll hit here once, and then we'll assess the damage. You will, I don't think that's technically Haven. My nine sight panic. Might not take the chance. This blocker do be blocking, unfortunately. So I'm going to take care of him. Weaken you. And actually, the crossbow is probably going to take you out anyway. Okay. Now I need to soften up this back line, though. Uh, let's weaken you. You. Try and hit the dodger. Any dodgers? Pog. No dodgers. Um... So just looking for people mainly in the front that we can weaken here. Now if I move back. So there's still... It's this person that's mainly going to make it. Otherwise... Nobody's really going anywhere. In fact, nobody can reach me here. So I think I'm actually going to vibe here. Crossbow should hit that guy. <clears throat> I guess I could guarantee it by just whacking him. But Forget about it. Uh, I can't use my ability here because I haven't used that at all yet. And we will get some pretty nice value out of it. So let's do that. Stupid. Uh, and then let's clean up this trash. I'll be able to run away four if I do that. And let's just take care of these. And I'll back up. Uh, this guy's a little annoying. Oh. No. Crossbow should still... This guy should be going farther. So. It's the best spot for us. Doesn't feel great, but... Alright. Big poison kill. Wait. Why didn't the other guy move? Oh, he attacked a barricade. I didn't realize he was next to a barricade. Whatever. It works for us. Poison's going to kill you guys. LMAO. Will the poison get you weak enough? Not quite. However, you're still poisoned for... Oh, well, you have 69 health, first off. LMAO, but also... It means you'll die to poison in three turns, which isn't great. 38 people left, though. So this is pretty much what we're left to deal with. Um, could be a fun God Ray moment. Death Ray thing. Uh, let me see. If, oh, fudge. Wait. Well, yeah, of course, because of the line of sight. I would hit the pillar and destroy it. Alternatively, could just do another big putrid ball. It's actually kind of insane. 
I uh, I wasn't putting enough respect on Putrid Ball. But we got Blocker Bone over here. Uh, she, look at that value. Heck yeah. Oh, I'll do that every day. All right, you are isolated. So sure, well, so are you. Let's, let's hit you. And that's all the man I have, folks. That's all, folks. Oh, uh, but look at this chain damage. Oh, propagate, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, oof, it could go a couple different ways. Go quite a few ways, frankly. Um, hmm. I do want to use our ability here. I want to use it here, so I need to kill this fella. High roll? <laughs> no. So unfortunate. You're going to die, but I need you to die now. Let's try and hit you guys. And then we can you guys. Because she, right now, even if I remove this whole entire segment, none of them can even reach the wall. Which is why wounding them is... Um, can quite often be the play, you see. I'm going to propagate from here and hope it goes this way. Preach. Pog. Right. Now I'm going to finish this guy off. And then I'm going to double hit here because I'm not so confident. Okay. Pog. We managed. So now... Uh, oh... This is a blocker specifically, so I still can't. Are you kidding me? What's our max? So, I could pretty much do this twice and still have mana. So, And there's another blocker behind him. That's so annoying. So many blockers. All right, well, then fine. Whatever. I'll just do one of these. Um, okay. Then let's whack here. Whack here. Uh, and look at that. Huh? Nobody's getting through. Except this fella. So I'm actually going to hold the wall here. And then the crossbow should hit that person. Should. Eh, I hit the dog. No, it didn't. What? Not what you were supposed to do. What are you doing? All right, but if this isn't a propagate moment, although if I don't use any more mana, we'd actually refill perfectly. Very optimal. Um, hold up. How many? You'll die in a turn or well, two turns, but I don't want to take that long. So going to take care of that now. Taking care of business. Here we go. Taking care of business. I'm working on over time. Um, let's just get rid of you guys. You're in me way. All right. I really want to propagate, but although also look at the cleanup potential here. Oh, this this is satisfying. Oh, pop, 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 pop. Oh, yeah. we're just going down the line. Let me use melee guy real quick. So I can see if I'll need him for... Or those archer shots for anything else in particular. Um, would like to weaken... Well, I forgot. You still have a good amount of mana left. That's a kill. Uh, hit me. Hit there. You're isolated. Stupid. Um. Wait, do you have any mint? No, you don't. Okay. Oh, 
just that easy. And if I come over here. Oh, I can no longer. I ran out of that. Okay. Well, then I'm a poison you. You're almost dead anyway. And then we're just going to back you guys on up. Nobody can get hit. You. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Actually, there's a way we end right now. Pause. Uh, poison should do it. Yep. There we go. Wait. <gasps> One health. No shot. Oh, I wasn't even looking. I'm going to punch him. <laughs> I was hoping to do it quicker. I think it might have still been enough so that we get a little extra dark essence or whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. Excuse me. But a flawless night. Which is why I should have probably said I shouldn't even really bought the ballista. Yeah. Soul harvest. Night survivor. Yes. Oh, I think the darkness just moved up two spots. What the fuck? Okay, see, now we're going to be getting hit from two sides at once. You know what I'm talking about, Chuck. See what you're cooking over here. I've read most of this dialogue before, so I'm skipping this part. Um, all right, twelve hundred damage, or twelve hundred damage. Oh, but wait a second! Ooh, we got some new things: two-handed sword, mm. crossbow, power staff. These are only three hundred, and I am tempted to use them. They all seem fun. I could get the regen right now. But I want new things. So that's what we're going to do. Aha! Uh -huh. And then I'll put the rest of it towards the region. Alright, let's see what reward did we get. Ooh, an epic. Wildling pants. Extra dodge, resistance, and then because of the epic, health, armor, crit, and stun chance. It's going to be hard to beat that. Trinket, mana, mana region. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit nicer of a magic orb, but now nah, we're, we're taking the pants. Give me them pants. Now the question is, who is getting them pants? Probably, you'd have to thank our melee friend, right? Yeah, I, I think so. Especially because you don't have much armor right now, buddy old pal. There you go. You're looking so so spiffy. Let's look at our perks. Might impact character details. I think we're going with spiky counter, right? Um, however, missing mana is crits. Every two enemies hit, the next skill gets vision. Enemies killed by defenses now give bonus XP to this hero. I do like my ballistas. We're not applying poison. Less health, more critical. No. As long as this hero isn't wounded, extra dodge and move points. Uh, let's go spiky counter. Uh, and then if we get more block, we'll be popping off. Um, extra health sounds nice. Although... Reducing resistance isn't bad. Right now, the axe doesn't really do anything. But we could change that. Um, You know what? Sure. And then... Wow. I don't want any of that. Gamba. Ooh, unlucky. 60 uh, reliability? Sure. That's not bad. Not perfect. Alright. Our magic wielder. Missing mana, more crit. Tempting. Oh, but yeah, we need to get you some mana regen. Uh, mark debuff, contamination skill. It's very interesting. When attacking a unit with full health, extra crit. I mean, that is also very tempting. Extra XP is so tempting, though. I'm just a sucker for this, because... 
doesn't pay off initially, but in the long run. I feel like I'm throwing, but I'm doing it. Screw it. All right. Show me main region, which is none of this. Wow. Okay. Gamba. Crit it is. Which, if you didn't have that trait, you'd have 22% crit right now. Oh. Oh. Wait. I was going to go 8% magic damage, but two extra skill range? Which literally is like what it means. So like infect can hit one to eight tiles. Could do now one to ten. Oh. Don't get me wrong. I mean eight percent magic damage, but that skill range though. Sheesh. I feel like I should do magic damage. Cause it's not like we're doing a lot. Well, I really like this guy. I mean, is it overkill, though? I mean, these are already kind of insane skill ranges. Fine, I'll do magic. <sighs> it sounded fun, but whatever. All right, Archer. So every two enemies hit, next skill gets vision. Not terrible. We're currently going for crit with you, though, right? Bodybuilder. Wait, you have so much better melee stats. Her melee perk, train the other person, is great. Every missing mana, more crit. Is, don't you have glass cannon? You not? Enemies killed by defenses, blah, blah, blah. When attacking, you know, full health gets crit. See, that's tempting. Extra experience gained. Ugh. You guys know me. I'm a... Do I go... Missing mana. Maybe. Well, I can't even use a lot of our mana right now, but we have so much mana regen. I don't mind chucking. Chucking out that stuff. Spells. I think we do first blood. I really want to get XP, though. Again, won't pay off now, but if we survive like two more nights, then they'll be ahead of what they would normally be. But I'm going to go first blood. Because now when we're spreading our little crossbow shots, the more likely to crit and put them in better range. That's the idea at least. You don't need that. Let's just give you more damage. And then you could get range damage. I mean, you are using bows. Yo. Oh, but experience gain. There we go. The 112 pawn. All right, we're done with you. We got a little bit more gold. We should have more, but, well, we know how that went. The shop. Oh, a dagger. I don't think I ever really got to play around with this. Um, Extra move point. Extra crit. And damage and propagation damage. Backstab. If isolated, doing lots of damage. Um, throw the dagger. Ignores block. Or poison daggers. Multi hits and poison. Interesting. Could get a better axe or a level two short bow. Ooh. But we are currently going for multi hits, and that doesn't give us any multi hits. What does a longbow do? I think I remember using this a lot. Bit of a crutch, if I'm not mistaken. But no multi hits. We're going for multi hits. Yellow. I'm sure I'll regret all this. I mean, the dagger has multi hits, but. Costs a lot of mana, and also it's melee damage. Get a better shield. Oh, here's a scepter. See, it's a magic bonk weapon. Helmets that are very okay. 
Um, better mana region. We might do that. But also now I'm thinking about it. No, we need the economy. I want to get all the gold camps going ASAP. So that's what I'm going to do. The way we can build here is kind of strange. Can I destroy this? Get that out of here. Maybe I'll regret that, but get that out of here. Let's do... Gold mine here and a gold mine there. Then I can use one worker to get 25 gold. Or no, I need two workers. So I need to upgrade this. I remember how I did this, but it always seemed like this was the play to do. <sighs> Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Excuse me. Um, reducing that down to one, and then getting twenty-five gold, so we'd fifteen, so we'd be at forty-nine, which would allow me to get another worker. Or could do this here, that there, that there for another one. The passive production seems so much better at all. But I don't know how to make that much money. I don't think there's a way to make that much money. I ain't got no time for that. Uh, I don't really have anything to sell to the shop. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll just do that then. Let's go. Mine plus. Right? that for gold. Oh wait, 39 gold. I did my math wrong. Oh, fudge me. Okay, wait. But I can make it so I can do it twice. That just doesn't seem like the play at that point. Instead, I could do it on one of these, right? Sure. Get us some extra gold. What the hell? Okay, well now I can upgrade it. Okay. Now we get another worker. Who can't do anything here, but can destroy like this for some extra gold materials. Which is a 16, which isn't enough for anything, but we got it. Uh, This mist, do we close it in real quick? Let me tell you. Hmm. Okay. So now the challenge is we need somebody to be able to solo this. So hopefully you can do that. Because it's essentially saying like, you know, more or less 33% of enemies here, 66% of enemies here. So we'll obviously want two people posted up here. They're like literally like spawning in. That's insane. We'll need some defenses. I'm very tempted to just Throw in some ballistas. I think I might do one here. It doesn't really hit either, though. Hmm. Uh. I'll do one here. I like ballistas. All right, we need walls here, though. Let's just start with normal walls so I can get a grasp of what we're looking at here. I mean, yikes. They're like knocking on our doorstep immediately. What's that about? Hmm. It's not great. Um, <laughs> wooden gate. That's all we can afford. Good luck, my dude. Hold the line. Yeah, good luck. I don't know about that one. It's getting so hard so quick. Really? I mean, sheesh. Okay. All right. Uh, 
Yeah, so that's all we can do. And then, I mean, I think we're good. Right? Phase. Let's go mount a ballista, though. Oh my god, the, the crawlers are already hitting us. Freaking what the fuck? Oh, they have an archer? Oh. And because we don't have any armor. Oh my god, and the arm. Archers are almost breaking the walls already. What? What's the big idea here? What did you debuff us with? Minus one move point. Okay, well, that's fine. We ain't really going anywhere. Let's uh, get some nice isolation damage off on you. Uh, I can't target them. Very tempted to hit him with the fat poison. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Because they have, they have so much. I wouldn't even break their armor. Two attacks wouldn't even break their armor. What the fudge do I do about these archers? Yeah, the poison's going to have to pop off, for, pop off for us, I guess. I can double poison them. But should I wait for everything else coming through? I feel like I should. Not to mention we got all these guys over here. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, this doesn't feel great. What the fudge? These walls ain't gonna last a second. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, GL, buddy. I don't think you're going to hold it down as well as I was hoping. Uh, okay. Let's propagate with you a whole bunch. Start with the archer. Pew, 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 pew. And we'll start over here. Because I went with... Oh, no. I went with the first blood first. Ah, whatever. Um, move you up one. I still can't hit this little nerd. Um, hit you twice and you once. Let's see what the. Okay, so we will be able to kill you. Um. Finish you off and then wound you guys. Double wound here. Ah, if only we had a double wound there. That would have been pog. Uh, I think we just continue to weaken everything out of range. Oh, oh, I, I was like, well, I should be able to hit. Let's move you here, you over here. Bop. Bop. Mm. Bop. Missed? Oh, fudge. Are you gonna... You can still hit the wall. Alright, I have to... Make sure I poop on you guys. Missed again? I got an extra... Uh, oh, but... Okay, we wounded you, though. Holy cow, everybody. Let's see what we can do with you first, huh? Whack. Whack. Oh, we got the cleanup from here. Oh, don't even worry about it. Sheesh. My man. All right, I feel like you're going to get hit here, though. Like, 100%. All right, well, at least that side went well. Can't say, say much for the other one. I guess we can do evasion. Oh, and then you can do evasion. One here didn't move. Yep, wouldn't have mattered. Poison. Oh, my word. Wait, I didn't even... Wait, Houston, we got a problem. Okay, why did they put two skulls down here? Well, uh... Look, I didn't see this. They're just gonna... You might have to run over there and help them, buddy. I'm gonna be honest, Chief. Uh... Actually, if you did, can you even hit anything? No. <laughs> all right, we have to use all your action points here anyway. What if I hit them with this? 
Uh, okay, counterpoint. Probably don't even need to do that. So. Let's hit you, you, and you again. Hit you and you. And you. Just gonna, I'm gonna soften everything up so we can essentially just one hit everything else. Uh, I can't poison anyone with this. Because if I, if I move here, that you can come out one. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's worth. I can finish. Whoa, wait. Oh, wait. But I thought. Don't get line of sight from this. Oh. Okay, well then I'll just point Blake. Scratata. Stupid. All right. Didn't move as well as I was hoping, but. Hey, you didn't die. That was so annoying. Oh, I need you to die. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we're just trying to wound. Um, all right. Now, what are we doing about this, huh? Let's talk about this, buddy. Uh, I don't think we have a choice. Uh, one death ray thing. They're still alive. That's incredible. Wow. Okay. And then this is a big problem. Very big problem. Doesn't re it doesn't reduce movement. Uh, and I can't. Well, if I can kill this one, I can isolate the other one. Okay, the isolation damage did it. Pog. Uh, and then you're going to sit back here. And that's it. One action point. Who? You? No? Oh, you. Whatever. Dodge. Come on now. Okay, but it says it's bulk of the forces, so this should be the last bit. Oh, and we hit him with the spiky armor thing. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, uh, the city panic's about to hit the first thing. No! Our walls are on fire! Oh, no! Um, I, I can't hit all these ones. I think they're going to hit first painting no matter what, which sucks. But uh, not too sure there's anything I can do about it, Chief. Big value out of this, though. Heck yeah. I can't stop them. All right, I'm just going to kill you. And then I'm going to post up. See, they can just run in there, though. I, I think I need to block them. Body block. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the panic's avoidable. But oh well. All right. Now, like, what? What the fudge we got going on over here, my dude? Yikers! Jesus. What have you got going on over here? I don't know what you were trying to cook, but you burnt it, my dude. Uh, they broke that wall. Okay, we need to God Ray this. Ooh, why, why are the archers so tanky, bro? What is that about? Um, screw it. 
I needed you to die so I could isolate. Oh, they're all so weak. Oh, Sanch. All right, you're, you're going to potty block. Forget about it. All right, you're going to come over here. You know what? Speaking of propagate, we're probably just going to... Uh, let's start here and you'll take a couple down. Um, I gotta weaken you guys. Missed. Unlucky. Okay, weakened a little bit. They're gonna 100% destroy those walls. Unfortunate, but what do you do? I'll try a propagation on. Okay. Well, now all of them can't hit it. It's something. And that's about the only good news. Uh, screw it. Propagating. Let's see what. All right, sure. Oofers. All right, all right. What's the damage? Nice crawler kill. Get reflected. Okay. Oh my god, all the walls. What the fudge? Ah. Okay, but we, we they haven't hit the first panic, technically. There might still be a very slim chance. And my god, is it slim. But it's a chance. Um, okay. Let's whack you guys. Because what if I did... Actually, where do I get the most value? That's four. Because I definitely want to... Stop him from hitting the wall. Okay, we'll do this. And what if I can do this? And then body block. Oh, but this guy, you know, this archer can get in. And this guy can get in. Ah, fudge. Uh, anyway, whatever. It's best we could do. His fault for not being able to handle this, bro. Next time I should know, single lane, better to hold with the crossbow because AOE damage. Just doesn't really have what we need to hold this. Now just propagate everywhere. Thank you. So yeah, we don't even have a good angle. Like they killed anything here. I'm going to need you to propagate again. Pretty good. And then what about her? All right. And then also need you to hit all the archers since you ignore armor. Our magic doesn't. So we're kind of boom there. All right. Archer's dead. Yes, me lord. We could... This poison will end up killing two of them. Uh, kill there. What are you? You're probably gonna hit us. So I'm not worried about it. Take you out. Take you out. All right. Okay. Just don't hit that panic level. Come on now. Praise. Okay. Because they didn't, I guess, haven't destroyed anything else or entered the haven. I guess it hasn't triggered anything yet. So, by some miracle, we might come out of this. With everything. Hold on. 
I do think they like XP is spread a little differently, depending on who gets the kill. Um. Hmm. All right. I don't. Um. If only I had that execute, man. Hold on, the crossbow. Oh, wait, no. No. I don't have enough to reach them. All right, well, then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to just lower their output. Seven action points remaining. Yeah, well, I, I would do something if I could. Or maybe the crossbow will initiate. Oh. Oh, he hit me. Oh, that's pog. Oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it, my dude. Okay. We won't get like the extra bonus. Bonus, whatever. But, uh. Level up. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, we got Ness there, but it feels like everything could have gone terribly. And probably will like next night. I get that feeling. Oh, oh my god. What item did we get? Oh, I need something better than that, Chief. Power staff. Really? What does this do? Not very accurate, but it's AoE magic damage. Compare it with our orb. Okay. Certainly a lot more damage. Um, it just doesn't get isolation bonus, but there are so many adds currently. And it's two-handed, but we have a shield in our other hand, so. Stunning entrance. It uses. Oh, so we like go to it, I think. Maybe range two to eight. Sheesh. That's Pillar of Light's only one to three. That's two to eight. I think it's more of a melee weapon. Well, it's I don't know, it's kind of like an in-between. Uh, seems way better though. Could get a better magic orb, but uh about that one, Chief. Ooh, extra experience gain. All right, we're going power staff. <laughs> and the cool thing, though, is it's not end-all, be-all because you can actually have two loadouts and swap them on the fly during a battle. So if I wanted to, start with that, and then during a battle, I'm like, oh, I actually need magic orb. Boom, you just swap. So let's see your perks. What were we going to get you again? Extra. We'll see, like, currently... 12% extra crit because we ain't got no mana. That's pretty good. Less health and extra crit again. Let's go with the critical runes. Slowly up. Um, um, give you more mana, I guess. Daily mana region or critical power. Oh. That's tempting. Either crit or daily main region. I think we go main region. I think we're going to need that. All right. Martius, what you got? What you cooking? What were we going to give you? Could give you XP. But maybe crit for missing health. Already got you that. Mm. Isolated unit, but not huge on that. I guess you get critical runes too. I don't know. I don't love your traits. Uh, and I don't love this. An extra move? No. 
We're going to gamble that. That wasn't great, but uh, we'll take crit. And this isn't great either. We need like none of that. It's incredible. Propagation damage. Hold up. We do like that with our crossbow. And then Zaniel. San Zaniel. We could give you... You just don't have much armor, buddy. I don't know. I, I just don't really love your anything. <laughs> I mean that in the best way po possible. <sighs> like back protection, but Our, yeah. your daily health region just sucks, though. It's not great, buddy. I guess I'm gonna. Am I really going to do pack protection? I guess so. Not a fan, but... Mm, another move point could be big. 11. Well, that seems like overkill. Let's just go damage. We don't have any stun currently. That reliability is nice. It's real nice. All right, yeah, sure. We've got enough for some tainted stuff. What you got for me? Exposition. I agree. New. Heroes have extra experience gained. Oh, I'm a sucker for 2100. What the fudge? Oh, but new guns. Ooh. Great axe. I'm just going to get the, the, or the new weapons. Those are fun. And uh, druidic staff. And I still don't have enough for this. All right, I'll just hold on to it then. But we got an achievement. What do we get? I don't know. Kill a thousand enemies. Spiked armor. Oh. Now, if I can survive one more night, then we get the seer, which is pog. If we survive night six, I can upgrade the end so we could actually have five heroes. That'd be sick. You have my attention. All right, we got some decent gold. See, like, this is good, but it doesn't pay dividends until you get, like, a little, like, a day or two more. There's no shot we're beating this, by the way. Like, we're... That, how many more nights? Like, nine or something? Yeah, no shot, right? Um, We just gotta keep increasing gold gains. But first... I could buy an end, but I don't think I'd have enough to buy another hero yet. Ooh. Scepter's cool. But you'd have to be melee. And I just got that power thing. Pistol. It's a ranged weapon with propagation bounce? Oh, but I think it has to be offhand for me to use it instead of the crossbow. No, no, no. I could slot it in their other thing. Hold up. I'm listening. Grappling shot. We follow to the target. Okay. Oh, wait a second. No, it gives extra propagation bounces. But nothing on the pistol propagates. I mean, we would passively get that, but... <sighs> That rusty two-handed sword, though, finna make me act up. I gotta check in our economy first. So what have I upgraded? I've upgraded these, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna upgrade this. Not yet, hold up. Need more workers. Hold on. That's just only 30. I can afford that. There's a good spot to put this though. Sure. There's another worker. Because if I upgrade this and this, 
can now use all my workers here. And we're back to 173. Which would allow me to build a temple. All these armor makers and stuff could be big. I feel like I need to keep investing in economy so that after this, we get to just juice everything, right? Feels like the play to me. Should I get... I'm going to need more defensive stuff here. Um, going to buy. Upgrade so we get another worker. Another worker. One. Two. Three. Isn't there another house? Do I not have another house? Oh, I don't. Oh, okay. Well then, Shaish. Throw a house in there. Which means we can upgrade this to use this to use this. Oh, but I couldn't upgrade it again. But for the most part, uh, oh, but I could scavenge. Sure. All right. See, now we got a stable economy, but I have to now survive everything coming at us. And about that, you know what I'm saying? All right, well, there's the structures. Let's look at our defense. We at least have one crossbow. Um, a ballista. I think I'm going to mount a ballista here. And then... Mount a ballista here. That's all I can afford. So then, make some rudimentary walls if possible. That's all I can afford. All right. Well, this shall be interesting. Guess we'll have to find out in the next episode. Wherever this episode, the next episode will be. Again, if I ever get around to posting it somewhere, uh, I'll put it down in the comment section. I'll pin it. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. I mean, I'm having to forcefully stop playing because I want to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Love this game. Super fun. All the progression too and stuff. You're always always working towards something. Even if we lose, we're going to come back juiced. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited. Oh, happy it's in full release. So, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell.